Hello everyone and welcome to Driven Mad. Now in today's video, we are back on my lovely L200. Now this truck's had a problem with overboosting for quite some time now and I've never really gotten around to doing it and I've also been trying to figure out what it could be. Now there's a few little things it obviously could be, but we have got the main culprit, which I'm fingers crossed gonna fix today. Now what we've got is the turbo solenoid. Now on these old Mitsubishis, believe the Pajeros have them as well and this L200 in particular have solenoids for the 4x4 system and for the turbo so these little solenoids are prone to breaking and they just well they seem a bit rubbish really but this here is the turbo solenoid now you can see there's two of them and we've got a few little connections on for the vacuum lines we've got four right now it should be a fairly easy install all we're going to do is take off this pipe to the intercooler and the top of the engine here and then we'll lift it out of the way and we should have access to that solenoid right under there. One thing I did forget to mention in that intro was that I've disconnected the battery beforehand because I'm unplugging things and on the forums I've read that these L200s are really really sensitive with their ECU so if you short anything out it's very very hard to get it fixed so just take every precaution you can if you're unplugging anything remove the battery or just disconnect it like I have here. Right, here we are on the side of the engine. Now, if I hold the torch up here, hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, this is the throttle body here, and underneath it, you can see there is our solenoid. You see, that's the end of it there. In fact, that's all loose and shaking. Who knows if that's got a problem? But you can see the connectors there and here. Just back here, look, you can see there's a black plug, brown plug. Now, all these vacuum lines I'm gonna have to take off. There's quite a few of them back here. So what I'm gonna do is take this main pipe off, get a good photograph, of all the vacuum lines and how they are, and then I should be able to put them all back in exactly the same spot. So let's do that now. Right, so we're gonna start, this is a size 10 for me. Get that bugger off there, like so. And all I'm gonna do is bend that there and out the way. Right, now even though I am filming this for YouTube to save me going back and stopping the camera, I'm gonna get some good photos of this. Take one at every angle I can think of on top there get it in there now hopefully i will be able to remember where all of those have come from what we've got is two plugs so they just pinch and pull those little devils there hey there we go right they're now out the way right now to save me scavenging down the back and things i'm going to just take everything directly off the actual solenoid rather than leave anything on it. So this one here actually goes into the top of the manifold there, uh, the intake manifold. So I'll take that off. Next up, got this little bugger. You're at the front. Then you. And then. We've got two on the front here. Now, one other little upgrade is you could change all your vacuum lines. Now, I've got some new vacuum line, so I think I'm going to go round one by one. If I take this one off, I'll cut a new bit and put it straight back on so I know exactly where it's come from and just do that on every little piece here that I can see. So I'm gonna do that and I will be back. Right, now we've got our two size 13s. So you can see here all my new lines are on, which I'm quite excited about. Right, and off comes our Oh, solenoid. There. Now I'm lucky I took a photo because I haven't got a clue where these are going. Right, okay. So, now you see this big hole here? That goes over this metal pipe on the uh, manifold there. So, we'll just pop that over like so. Make sure no pipes are trapped underneath it. Mm. 
Now here I'm just reconnecting all of the vacuum lines. After this little time lapse here, I will put up a photograph of how they should be connected. So if you're lost at the moment, you can see how to do it. Right, now it's time for us to plug this back in. Now it's pretty easy. The black plug goes to the black plug. Simple as that. And the brown one goes to the brown plug and they click in nicely. So let's hope that's all good. And then of course, the final thing is to put this pipe back on. All right, there we go. We are done. Now it's time to test it. Right, I've unplugged my microphone so you can hear the engine, but I am very optimistic. I've opened the door. So luckily for me, I've installed a boost pressure gauge on the dashboard so, you can, so I can see how much boost I'm getting. So I'll see if this is fixed here, but boosting pretty quick. Um, hopefully we don't get any engine codes because I know if you don't unplug them, you can get an engine code and if they're faulty, you can get an engine code. And also, I'm hoping I've got the lines around the right way. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all good. Let's find out. Right, so far so good. Uh, let's go on a test drive. I revved it and the boost gauge moved. So we've got boost. Let's go and find out if we've got too much. Right then, we're gonna do a second gear. Actually, we'll do a full launch up this hill. So this is where it would really over boost before. So we're looking for this to go well over 15. It used to go to 20, let's see. Flat out. Okay, so I've gone for a little test drive. I've driven all the way up the mountain. The truck is here on this weirdly cool ramp in the middle of nowhere, I just found a ramp. So I parked it on it. Um, I have driven it flat out all the way up here as a serious test to see if I can get some sort of overboost. It spikes and comes back down, but that's a turbo thing. That's what happens on all turbos. My bath does it too. Um, but this seems to have cured the problem. I haven't had a full overboosting problem yet. It's just gone up to 15 and down, where before it would go to 20 and stick at 20, which was just ridiculously high. Um, that's on PSI, by the way, just in case you're wondering. And uh, yeah, the truck is running really, really well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned a little something about the solenoid. It's a really good, quick, cheap, and fairly easy installation to fix. But yeah, this one, fingers crossed, is all good. And all right, guys, we've encountered a problem. Let's floor it. 20, it's just sticking there. It's just sticking at 20 again. That is far too high. Way, way, way too high. Bollocks. All right then, guys, we've still got a problem. The L200 is still over boosting. Now, I drove it all the way up a mountain, flat out, going on and off, in and out of gears, flat out, no problem. It went to 15 and then came back down pretty quick, which is normal for a turbo. But as I was coming back, I turned the engine off at the top of the hill, filmed an outro saying it was fixed because I thought it was. Turned the engine back on, obviously it's off, hot, it turns back on, and when it's hot, it seems to over boost. Like after the engine is hot hot, it overboosts. So if anyone could let me know what you think it could be in the comments down below, that would be massively appreciated. I've got one sensor to try and change and I'm gonna change some more of the um, boost pipes, but I don't think it's those. I really don't think it's them. So if anyone's got any recommendations, pop them down below and I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Day,